Hello there! In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a long Turk's head knot of three parts. It is one of the most common Turk head knots because it is easy to, to make and it has a lot of uses. It is commonly also referred to as the woggle. You can see it applied here at the bottom of this sword wrap. You're going to need a mandrel as well as some paracord or any cord for that matter. I'm going to also be using a lacing needle. We're going to start by wrapping the cord in an X shape twice around the mandrel, then go under over with our working end. At this point we're going to get three parts at the top which we're going to braid. We're going to take our left part, place it over the right one, then with our working end we're going to go under over. We're now going to use our right end and place it over the left one, then again go under over with our working end. We can repeat this sequence as many times as we want, going over with the left, then under over with our working end, and so on. This is why it is called a long three-part Turk's head, because we can continue it for as long as we want. And we're going to finish this not by, by placing it next to the standing end where we began. This completes the first pass of the woggle and all we need to do now is adjust it if we are going to use it like that. It is far more common to double up the knot though, so I'm going to show you how to do that as well. To double up the woggle, we're simply going to follow the standing end where we began. So this is the standing end and we're just going to follow it through the entire knot and finish where we began, just like with the first pass. I'm going to do the rest of this off camera and I'll be back in a sec. I've doubled up the entire Turk's head knot and as you can see, it also starts where it ends, 